Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm thinking about spring and the fragrance that got me thinking that way is it's called Elderflower Blossoms and Quince from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Oh man, this is pretty. It just smells beautiful. A little floral, a little fruity. I think it's a beautiful combination. So I can't wait to use it and it got me thinking of, well, I don't know. I think elderflowers are white and quince kind of looks like a pear, but so I don't know if I'm going to go with those specific color palette, but I was thinking more of what the fragrance evoked and I wanted to do, um, I have this fairy tale pink mica um, and I might tone this down with some TD. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about that, but I thought that was so pretty and I want to use that color and also this love and sunshine. It just makes me happy. Isn't that pretty? So those two will be a color swirl, and I might do some um, piping on top, just do some rosettes or something. I just want this to be like spring blossoms. It made me think of blossoming flowers, and I love spring. So uh, if I do uh, piping on the top, if everything's behaving and I get to that, I'd like to do some leaves around my flowers. So I have this emerald green and uh, from Nurture Soap, and I might do a little swirl in the body of the soap also just to pull all the colors in. I just want this to be beautiful and pretty and evoke springtime thoughts. So it's going to be a goat milk soap today. I'm going to get everything pulled together. I will do the milk in oil method for my goat's milk. I've really been enjoying doing that. It makes my live prep a little bit easier. So that's the way I'm going to approach the goat's milk today. I'm going to get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back, and let's make some spring blossom inspired soap. All right, I've got all of my oils and butters here ready to go and I'm going to add my additives which is my wonderful farm fresh goat milk here oh the cream rose on top <laughs> um, my farm fresh goat milk which I water discounted from the uh, water amount to make up for this volume of liquid and I want to get all the cream in there so good all right and also I'm going to be adding my colloidal oats. This is a two tablespoon scoop of colloidal oats and two tablespoons of kale and clay. And I'm going to get this all blended in and then uh, we'll get ready to move forward with the lye solution. ready for the lye portion. So uh, again, this is a steep water discount in here because I made up for the extra liquid in the goat milk. Um, this has cane sugar, sodium lactate, and tussa silk fibers. That's what's going on in here. And I'm going to have a very full pitcher, but I will just uh, blend cautiously. Get this blended up to a, an emulsion, and then we will split off for the colors and stick blend as needed after that. And you're going to see a little bit of a color morph here as the milk starts to caramelize with the lye. It'll turn a kind of a beige color, but it'll bounce back. It just, it's a chemical reaction, so science is interesting.
All right, it's the next day and I can't wait to get in here and see how those swirls came out. I did come in early this morning and steam the top just to gloss up those flowers. There wasn't any soda ash, but I like a bright top, especially when it's that pretty, huh? Oh my word, spring blossoms. Smells great, just saying. Can't wait to get this out and see how it's looking on the inside. Time to get in here. I'm going to cut off my little end piece that goes in my little end soap end bundle pack. Oh, it's pretty and muted. All right, let's keep going. You know, the end pieces are cute, but you got to get in here to really see what's going on the middle. So let me tell you, this elderflower and quince fragrance smells so pretty. It's nice. Oh, these are happy and kind of pastel and loving, loving, loving it. But uh, <laughs> what, where was I going? I lost my train of thought. I got distracted by pretty swirls. Um, so I stick blended after I poured the base here and got it swirled. I went in with my stick blender and blended the pink and the yellow because I had a little bit more of those and I could immerse my stick blender. And it thickened up, you know, pretty good. I waited about 20 minutes to do the piping. Not bad, but I'll tell you what, I um, had such a small amount of the green in that cup that I couldn't immerse my stick blender, so I just let it harden up naturally. I walked away and stirred it every once in a while. It took almost two hours for that green to get up to a very loose piping consistency, and it wasn't even as stiff as I wanted it to be, but I had to make dinner, so <laughs> I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm piping the leaves down. So for an intricate swirl, um, and being a floral, it's kind of impressive. Uh, so anyway, this was a very slow moving fragrance. It smells wonderful. So it's getting two thumbs up from me. And um, so, yeah, smells great. But boy, I, it tested my patience waiting for that green piping. And it was still kind of loose when I piped it. <laughs> so that's the story. But with all that being said, I'm very happy with the final bar here. These just make me smile, make me think of spring blossoms and everything I was hoping for. All right, and you know I'm gonna love this every time. I just absolutely love soap patterns. They make me smile.